Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Christina DeWittowitz here. Today we are talking all about my wedding photo book. So I really wanted to make this video because I feel like when I was looking for options on a photo book, it was just kind of overwhelming because it's after the wedding and all you want to do is relax and you stress out so much before the wedding because they are things you can't do until after the wedding. So for me, that was sending in my flowers to get preserved, sending in my wedding dress to get clean and preserved, and then ordering pictures and, and then sending out thank you cards. So it's just a lot of extra things that I didn't realize would carry over for so long. But the first thing after thank you cards, I was able to get done was my wedding photo book. So for me, some of the most important things about the wedding were getting good quality photos and a good quality video. As soon as I got my pictures in, the first thing I did was look through them and see which ones I really wanted to get a photo print of and then which ones I wanted to put in my photo book. But one thing my photographer told me was to not get my pictures printed at Walgreens or CVS. And I totally agree with him. He is so right because you spend so much money on good, high quality photos that you don't want it to get ruined by the quality from a drugstore photo printing company. But I knew I wanted pictures for my office at work. Actually, I don't have an office, my desk. So I got a few pictures printed at CVS. Now I have them here and I just wanna show you the quality. Now these were just four, regular four by six photos, nothing too crazy, something I knew that I could get quick and easy. And I can show you this. I don't know if it will show up on camera, but you can see here, it's just a little, um, not pixelated, but you can see how it was printed. It's just the quality isn't there. Dang, I wish I could show you. I'll, tr I'll, try, to, I'll try to shoot some video of this after. So if I actually can shoot it, you'll see it's just not as high quality. My flowers look grainy. My face looks like grainy. It's just not as good. And you know, it's true. You get what you pay for. I don't know if this one will show up better, but you can see it just looks a little, just a little choppy there. So I thought just for my desk at work, it was a pretty good option, something quick and easy, just right there. And I'm not gonna be looking at my photo in great detail. It's just gonna be sitting at my desk. And if something happens to that picture, I'm not gonna be worried about it. Like if it fell and it broke, or if, you know, something, you know, someone stole it for some reason, like I would not be heartbroken about it. So when it came to the photo book, I knew I had to be really picky about it. Now my photographer's website does have the option to print directly to a photo book, but I really wasn't happy with that because I didn't get a lot of control over the book. I wanted control of how many pictures I wanted on each page. I wanted control of how much white space was on each page as well. So I decided to go with Mixbook for mine. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. I just really genuinely wanted to share my experience with that company online. One thing I really liked about them is that you had control over everything. There were pre-made templates that you can uh, use, but you also had the freedom to control the size of each picture in that template and even change it up completely. But for me, it was a good starting point as a guide as I went on to design my book. I was able to control the photo here. I was able to stretch out this photo. If I wanted it full page, I could have. I was able to just have one title here because originally for this template design, it, um, it had a title underneath as well. I was able to do something here on the side, on the, um, on the spine cover and then on the back as well. So I decided to keep the two Chattanooga, Tennessee right there. I really just wanted to mirror kind of what I had on the front. So that's what I did. And then if you look at the quality of the cover, I think it's really good. I think that nothing looks like my CVS photo quality. I think this is really good for a cover. You had different options. I don't know if I got the biggest size. I think I got the middle size and the cover just feels so smooth. And I really like that. So let's open it up. I'll leave the size of my book exactly um, down below in the description because I don't have it off the top of my head. Now, one thing about designing my photo book is that it kind of took me forever because I was being really picky about it. I really wanted my pictures to go in consecutive order of how the night went. So I really started with the pre-wedding, like getting ready and then the ceremony and then the reception. And I also made sure not to have double photos of the same thing. So if I was posing like this with my bridesmaids, and then I had another, and I'm looking straight, and then I had another photo of, it's basically the same thing, but my head is turned. I didn't want those same photos because there just wasn't a much of a difference for me. So as you open it up, you have this page. So this is my opening page, and you can see here, it's really showing up right now, so I'm really happy about that. 
because I really wanted to talk to you about the finish I got. So I got the pearl finish from Mixbook. And I chose to get this because I was afraid of getting fingerprints on my pictures, on my pages. The first option I think was just like a high quality photo paper. And because I had never ordered from Mixbook before, I didn't know if that meant it was actually like photo paper or not, you know? So that's why I thought the pearl finish would be great. And one thing about it is that if you look at it the right way, like if you're looking at it straight on like this, like a regular book, you can't really notice that pearl finish unless you're looking at it like an, at an angle, like I am holding it up for you right now. So this is the first photo I chose to have as a little opening um, introduction to the book. And then it gets into the whole setup, the decor, I'm getting ready with my girls. And you can see how nothing is really all that even around like this white space is thinner than this space. And that's because I had full control over each page. And here I left a little more white space. So I just like having options on how I wanted each page to be laid out. And it was really a good way for me because you know, you get a lot of photos. We have, we got like over 600 photos back, but this really allowed me to put as many photos as I wanted on each page. And so just having that full customization option really like worked out for me because with a lot of photos, you really wanna make sure you get everything the way you want. And I also like that you can blow up the photo or make it as small as you want. So I don't know if that pearl finish is showing up here, maybe on like the pages with more white around it, but it is such a beautiful, luxurious finish. When you're looking at it, it's just amazing. And I don't have to worry about touching my book, unless my hands are dirty, which they're not, but it's just a really nice finish. I also wanted to show you this full size page and the quality is just perfect. I just really love it. The pearl finish is really just an extra touch. And then after that, a few more pages in, towards the end, we get into the reception section of my book. So after all this, it's just the reception. And then to end it, so I think you always wanna have a strong opening photo and ending photo. I just did two, they're different shots, but one's in black and white and one isn't. So I just really thought that was cool. And then my friend actually had this really good idea, which I had never even thought about. Leave a few blank pages. I think I left like maybe five blank pages because I could write on each side. And my friend was like, use those empty pages to write about what you did each year. You know, like for example, if we bought a house, if we got a new dog, if we had a kid, if we moved. And I was like, that's a really great idea because that gives you a reason to do more with this book. You're not just gonna put it on a shelf and then maybe grab it at every anniversary and look through it. This really gives it purpose to where you can fill it out each year and really write down some of your major accomplishments as a couple. I thought that was pretty awesome. And those pages are also in the pearl finish, of course, because I don't think you can change it like that. But I just thought that was a really great idea. And I'm so glad she told me that. So that is my photo book from Mixed Book. Highly recommend. I mean, I haven't used anything else, but from all the sites that I browse and from actually playing with the tools, trying to fill out the template, this, this had this was the best option. And since we are officially in the holiday season, I think a photo book could be a good gift for anyone, whether it's your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, friends, but maybe you went on a trip with friends, you can fill it out. Um, if you have some coworkers and you had an, a, work, a work event, um, a photo book is just such a good and thoughtful gift, I think. I mean, I love pictures. So if you know anyone who loves pictures and wants to capture those memories, but don't know which photos to print, put it together for them in a book. It's just a really good gift option, I think. Like I personally would love a photo book. I just, I just love photos. And since I ordered my photo book, they gave me a coupon code to share. So I want to share it with you all. You can get $20 off when you use my code. I'll leave it down in the description box below. That way you can save on any gift or even for yourself, which happens a lot with me. I swear, while I'm Christmas shopping, I shop for friends and family, and then I see something, I'm like, you know what? That's more for me, I'm keeping that. Either way, you can save 20 bucks. Now the next thing on my list is to actually print pictures to frame. 
And part of the reason why I did my photo book first was because I couldn't decide what sizes I want for my pictures and where I was gonna put them around the house. Um, you know, it was just, I just feel like those things take time and I just don't know, but I knew I wanted my photo book. So that's why I did that first. Oh, I also wanna show you something really cool. I got my wedding bouquet framed. Check it out. So nice, right? I absolutely love it. And I just found the perfect spot to hang it in. So I'm probably gonna do that today, but I just wanna show you that real quick. So happy with it. All right, guys, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the process of making a photo book, just leave them down in the comments down below. I will be happy to help you out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video once a week, whether it's a full video like this or one of my shorts. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.